Hello, hello, heroes! Welcome to Error Sassy Cookie Fizz! Hello, hello. Anybody lurking? Anybody just coming in? Uh, Sassy, to answer your question, yes, we did finish West of Loathing. So today we will be doing. Dun, 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 dun. Oops, I broke it. <laughs> broke my webcam. Control! We're playing Control. That's why the redacted jokes. Epic! Welcome! Hello, hello. Um, here's the deal with this game, uh, children's. Um, this is gonna be a Miro's Mini. Until I find out if I can handle the shooting. If I can handle the shooting, uh, we might try to dive into the whole thing, try to get that sweet, sweet story, because I hear it's the best. Um, if I can't handle the shooting, then we're SOL, and we'll have to go watch somebody else's playthrough, and it'll be a sad day for everyone. Just finished getting all the trophies for control for the second time. Damn, dude. Jeez. It's intense. The shooting and the popping. What exactly? What exactly is the popping? <laughs> you can do it, hopefully. I've already turned on um, <coughs> under options. Aim assist. <laughs> we did that. And uh, since I'm on the keyboard, it should be easier than... Um, most things that I try to do. Uh, also, forgive the frog in my throat. Not entirely sure why I can't cough, ke uh, can't stop coughing lately. That sentence came out as diarrhea. Um, <clears throat> I don't think there's any other settings I need to change. Oh, assist mode. Let you modify rules of the game to suit your specific needs. Okay, what does that mean? Control was designed to be both challenging and rewarding. We encourage you to first try playing it with sys mode disabled. All right, all right, fine, 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 fine. Doesn't want me to be casual. <clears throat> Just let Boggs play and you commentate. Totally doable, 100%. Um, I did a playthrough of this, really cool. Nice, nice. Then if this, if all fails, we can hit up Odd. give you all the time to read chat no hands playthrough it would give me a lot yeah Boggs was it behind the character I'd have tons of time um let's see let's make it a touch brighter because Mira doesn't like spoops and because I know it's darker for the people at home um I'm wearing headphones so let's get real comfy there English yes English yes subtitles yes um those are the assist things I'm talking about. Immortality, one hit kills, crazy aim assist. Fuck yes, thank God for accessibility. If this game has that, then we should be a-okay. If I can muddle around in some settings and get get some God mode going on. <coughs> Loot on <laughs> 91, what the hell? Uh, okay, here, just for you then. Let's make it a nice, a nice uh, odd number. How's that one? Does that one make you feel better? On a scar, though, that's probably too dark. <laughs> nice. It's a nice number. Um, we could do the opposite of a nice number. <laughs> Sad number. That might be too bright. A little bit blown out. Okay, you want the middle icon barely visible. Left icon not visible at all. God, that would be like fucking... What, like there? That's ridiculous. We're gonna go with an even 90. 88 is the best for you? 88's also a good number. We could, we could go with an 88. Lord, we're never gonna make it into this game if we spend 60 years on one setting. 88 it is. It's a, it's a decent, well-rounded number. Standing still in combat makes you an easy target. Keep moving to throw the enemy off. Okay, zigzag. Bear techniques. Got it. Fair warning. This is gonna be weirder than usual. Can't be helped. How's sound for you guys? You called me. So here I am. Sound is audible. I know I shut you out sometimes. 
I'm always glad to hear from you. It's just that I get my hopes up. So many times it's led to nothing. I found nothing. I guess you're gonna miss it's like the panty ray. We live in a room. Hey, you can pause the cutscenes. That's nice. Squid, thank you for the raid. Welcome. Hello, hello, Squid. How's it going? Uh, can I get a caster call out for Squid, please? Or I can do it myself. If you're feeling lazy. It's totally okay. Totally okay to take a day. <laughs> hey, Cookie, thank you. Dark Souls. More Dark Souls. Did you make it further than the last time? Squid? I was... I was, I'm like, yeah, I'll play a Souls game today. And then I never make it any further. And I'm just perpetually grinding the same place forever. I'm still in the, like, the first section of Bloodborne, I swear to God. That's a lie. I beat Bloodborne. But that's the only one I beat. Three bosses down. Hell yeah. Guys, love and chat for Squid. Putting down the bosses. Fuck, three? How long were you live, Squid? Uh, for those of you just coming in with the raid, uh, I'm Miro. We're playing Control. We just started. Uh, no spoilers. I am blind to this. Uh, if you are in my channel and you don't know who Squid is, please go check him out. Go check out his aquarium. Be one of his cool fish. Play some Dark Souls, some Dankus Dungeon. Uh, what else have you been doing recently, Squid? I feel like there's another game. Oh, Outriders. Lots of Outriders. All the spoilers will be redacted. Thank you. Appreciate it. Is that a grandpa bear cookie? Okay, um, we're gonna we're gonna see if I just borked this cutscene or not. And there's a poster on the wall. Okay, okay. We stare at it and we think that's the whole world. The room and the poster. The picture's something nice. A landscape, a famous person. I feel unnerved. Like in that These sound movie, effects right uh, now. What is it called? The prison movie. The room's a cell, and the picture, it's different for each of us. It can be beautiful or terrible, but we're all transfixed. But it's all a lie. Something to distract us from the truth. They're lying to us. We're lying to ourselves. The room's not the world. The world is much bigger and much stranger. There's a hole hidden behind that poster that leads to the real world. We all feel safe in that room. But sometimes, Sometimes something crawls out from behind the poster. Burn the house down. And the ones that see it happen freak out and try to forget what they saw. I'm here. Why did you bring me here? I'm, I'm not entirely sure what I was supposed to get out of that, but I did get creeped out, so there's Anyone that. Here? Oh, yeah, this is I see it. fairly sensitive. Um, ba -bum -ba -bum -ba -bum. nope. Um, down we go, or I'm gonna make everybody seasick. But what is it? I can feel it. It resonates. The oh. things you show me, my friend, I forget. It's all in my head. There's no you, right? Okay, so we're um. We're bat shit, is what I'm getting from this. This lady has problems, exactly. I need someone to point me in the right direction. Creep all the time? Oh, man. So we are in the Federal Bureau of Control. The FBC. Okay, tutorial, you can fuck off at any point. I am wasden away. I'm doing it. What a bizarre picture to have of yourself.
am I meant to go? Oh, oh, I'm illegal. What do we got? Uh, G. Reminder, certain objects are not allowed inside the bureau. Recent incidences have necessitated an, an issued reminder on prohibited materials, unauthorized weapons, pagers, laptops, smartwatches, smartphones, smart gaming devices, anything smart. What? Number two pencils. I feel like there's a story there. Hey, Julie, welcome. I missed you come in. Hello, hello. Good thing you can control that camera. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Why number two pencils? Um, any object considered iconic represents representations of archetypal concepts. Wait, wait, wait. Any objects considered iconic representations of archetypal concepts. Robert Ducky's ketchup bottles? I'm going to spend a lot of this game confused, aren't I? <laughs> All materials under bureau investigation will be brought in through the private entrances. If you see any lobby personnel in breach of these policies, please notify your supervisor immediately. What does that mean? You get to sneak them in the back? Is that what you're telling me? I think we can zoom in just in case. Just no, nice. Just in case you can't read some teeny tiny baby text. Can I plunder this briefcase? No. Who just fucking who left their briefcase here? Oh Jesus. Wow, that opened really easily. Okay, I can't search through lockers. She goes like zero to 60. There is no, oh, did it just close me in here? Oh, the doors are haunted. The doors are haunted. Incorrect, you're going to spend all of this game confused. Great, can't wait to see it. <laughs> can't wait to, wait to live it. Uh, internal lockdown in effect. Uh-oh, what happened? That doesn't bode well. Anyway, this girl goes zero to 60. Like, there's no, like, walk. It's take off sprinting. That's it. That's all you get. Stand still. Sprint. All the plunderings are pretty obvious. You'll see. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. I hate missing stuff. Oh, yeah, you're right. That was really obvious. This seal. This. I saw it a long time ago. I keep we turn seeing that off? it in my cool. dreams. Okay, we can't turn that off. We're hallucinating the Federal Bureau thing in our dreams. That's always nice. Hey, redacted! We did it. Uh, major staffing surveillance redacted. Uh, data center initiative construction redacted redacted. Minor office equipment janitorial costs redacted. Mold removal HQ livability costs. This is the expenditure summary for order two of the executive sector. For cost breakdown, spreadsheet, see page five for five year comparison chart, see page nine. Ooh, I would love to see those metrics, but uh, I think we're missing those pages. Which sucks because I love me a good graph. I tell you what, this game gets 50% better with a second playthrough. Oh, like when you know, then you know, and you get to watch it through a different lens, that kind of thing. Is that a seek shelter? Is that a seek shelter alarm? Can I push it? And nope. This isn't even her sprint? Holy, this girl can haul ass. That's not a good sign. That means we're gonna have to be running from something. All right, we thought about this man for a minute. Director Zachariah Trench. Mr. Trench. I'm in a very bizarre mood today, in case you guys haven't picked up on that. Jesse is badass. I mean, so far she's just really fast, but I'll take your word for it. Oh, there's gotta be, huh. thanks. Fox did me a spoof. Gotta be the cleanest video game toilets I've ever seen. We're rocking uh, my third peppermint tea in the last couple hours because my tummy is revolting because I ate cinnamon rolls. Boggs wave, he says hello. Uh, bless Boggs because he brings me tea. He's the best bean. All right, let's haul ass Federal this way, I guess. Bureau of Control. What happened All here? All these years, I've been looking for them, and they were hiding in plain sight. But what happened? Who, who got disappeared here? You guys just hear something? Am I alone here? Oh. For some reason, this is giving me, like, prey vibes. Like, I'm expecting something to become a mimic.
Somebody's here. Something. Is it you? It's not making noises. Can I buy a snack? Wow, look at that bland ass packaging. Pistachios, chips, pretzels, crackers, protein bars. Let's just say fiber, just a fiber bar. What? Oh, that's really weird to me. That's so boring. I mean, I guess that's one way to get around sponsorships. Federal building, everything is bland. Everything's bland and everything requires multitudes of paperwork. Yeah, that's pretty, that's my, that's been my experience with anything government, you are correct. Very bland. Anything colorful would be too iconic. Oh yeah, 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 and that stuff was illegal. Couldn't have it. Uh, hello, as you all should know by now, the R4 reports are due by the end of the week. We're still waiting on them from a number of people. If you need an extension, please request form for, <laughs> form, r4.e from your supervisor. If you think you're exempt from filing an R4, then you'll need to get written permission from your department chief saying so. Remember, R4s are mandatory under section 75.2 of the employee manual. If your R4 required interdepartmental claims, requires interdepartmental claims, then please contact the appropriate department head, Mr. Darling, Mrs. Mrs. Marshall, Mr. Salvador, or Mr. Kirkland, as needed. They'll be busy on Thursday in their annual policy reveals, re review, so please schedule accordingly best your admin team. This is the most government thing I've ever read in my life. <laughs> Get your form in. If you don't have your form, then ooh. If you don't have your form, then please file an extension form for your form. Barf. Okay, so we can collect all manner of things. Ooh, weapons. Materials, clearance level. Ooh. I'm gonna, uh, guys, I'm gonna find the aliens. I'm gonna find Area 51. That is what I am here to do. Excuse me? Which way did I come from? Wait. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. Wait a minute. I'm I'm lost. Does that wall change? Does the does do places change? Am I losing my mind? I have some R4s. <laughs> Anyone needs any? Thanks, Sarah. Thanks for covering us. Oh, wow, very redacted. Uh, Federal Bureau of Control, attention all redacted. Uh, redacted, a shark in his redacted, although permission, uh, although, no wait, oh Jesus, I can't read with these bars. A shark in his redacted, although secure redacted, permission to redacted, following basic protocol, redacted, shoot to kill, uh-oh, redacted, good luck. Uh-oh. Do I get to see, like, do these bars fuck off if I get a higher clearance level? Like, is it... Am I picking up magical notes I get to read more of later? Because that would be cool. Also, I'm very, I'm seriously fucking confused. I swear to God. What direction did I come from? I must have come from this way. Hello? No, except no. Except no. Uh, okay, I'm going to ignore the janitor. I'll let, leave him to his mopping. Okay, apparently I don't have shit to do in here. Is that a cowboy hat? All right, I've got questions for whoever's office that is. But just seriously though, I'm... We came from this way. Did I go through an office? Okay. All right, maybe the janitor knows. Janitor help, I'm lost. I don't have a map. Excuse me. Did I come from that way? There you are. You are here about the job. Excuse me? Janitor's assistant. You need to go to the interview. Go that way to the elevator. 
Thanks. Pretty sure you've Elevator mistaken me way. for someone. Got it. Very good. I'm Arti. 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 You work for me. You can say I sent you. If they don't hire you, they die. You are no hell of it. I'm sorry, what language was that? The axe. Take them behind the sound that you have out. I'm gonna need a translator for Ati. Please. Makes us come off weird. Ati the janitor is a friendly face in my book. Better than somebody with no face at all. Excuse me? <laughs> Think about it. I didn't no say that face. out loud. But that said, I didn't say I that out loud. You're thinking, if there's an axe murderer around, that's him. I didn't say that out loud. He's reading minds. This boy. He's got magical powers. Shit, he pilfered. Okay, wow. Wow, you can actually, wow, see the mop lines. That attention to detail. Oh, that is gorgeous. Wow, Adi, you've got a, a peculiar mopping style, my dude. Especially since somehow you're making these motions with a square mop. <laughs> uh, Finnish, he's speaking Finnish. Okay, then that. Is this the direction I... No, because it went down a... I need to start over. I need to start over and pay better attention. I, I definitely expected him to just be gone. Um, okay. Am I losing it? Oh. Okay, we went in this room. I do remember doing that. After we'd come up those stairs. Oh, oh shit. I'm, oh, Adi, I'm sorry. Oh, my bad, dude. Buildings like this are gonna fuck me up all day. I would get lost in real life. It's not just a game thing. The cell. We would get lost in real life. Poster. I was mean? 11 years old the first time I saw behind the poster. They told me I imagined it. I've been trying to pull it down ever since. Is this like, will you help? Alan Wake is somehow connected to this, yes? Or am I confused in thinking that? Yes, okay, cool. Then definitely gonna be confused this entire game because I was confused for all of Alan Wake. <laughs> That was a DLC announcement surprise, kind of? Oh, so I know a spoiler, my bad. The sound design on this game is incredible. They know how to give you the heebie-jeebies. Oh, I'm in. I'm hella in. The everything design of this game is incredible. Well, obviously Can their I map system sucks. You know what's on my mind. My baby brother, Dylan. 17 years since the men of this bureau took him. Okay, so we're here to track down our brother, Dylan. There are two documents mentioning the place Alan, Wace, Alan Wake took place, though. Like, in the main game, there are two documents we find that pertain to Alan Wake. Gotcha. What a bizarre fat tree. She's thick! I hear an alarm, and I that's alarming. <laughs> Ooh, company coffee mugs. Oh, shit! Oh, fuck. I'm sorry. Didn't realize I could collide with that. A lot of the things in this game are interactable that you would not expect. What is going on? This room? Is it you? Could you not? Shush. Shush. It's okay. There's no, there's no turning it off. Nope. We're just going to grab this and run then. Apocalypse, how's it going? Hello, hello. The Illuminati symbol is right on point. 
Reminder, redrafting any public facing material. While pending any notifications of death related to the Willow Avenue, please adhere to the following guidelines, words and phrases to use. In the service of his or her country, regret, pride or proud, will be remembered, phrases to avoid, Alaska scissors, blood bleed loss, apologies, sorry. Alaska? Scissors? What happened on Willow Avenue? Oh man. I feel like Oh, it's not Avenue. It's it's A W E. Willow A W E. What does A W E stand for? Do I get to know that? Probably not. Uh I feel like by the end of this, have you guys seen the Always Sunny in Philadelphia meme of the dude with like the red string board and he's batshit? That's going to be me by the end of this trying to figure this out. You'll find out. Okay, so Willow AWE. I don't know why my brain A V D E is Avenue. So glad I have you guys here to check me. God, it's very bright in this room. I have no clearance. But I can fuck your boxes up. Oh. Tringy? Welcome, Tringy. How's it going? Hello, hello. Isn't it a little too bright? It might be. Is it too bright on your end? I don't like spoopy dark things, so I might have gone a little heavy handed. Um, Maybe like an 80. I don't like dark corners. Anything can fucking pop out of a dark corner. Is that a stapler or an altered item? Don't take office equipment outside the building. Don't read confidential correspondence. It's not just rude, it's illegal. <laughs> Great. Great, uh... Oh, thank God it stopped. Did it stop forever? Oh. S nope, never mind. Spoke too soon. I was too hopeful. Nothing in here to grab. Got more tubes. Wow, this place is full of tubes. This is starting to feel like a We Happy Few situation with the tubes. Uh, Barbara, I am not to be disturbed. Cancel all my appointments for the day for the rest of the week, in fact. Uh, I can't trust them, Barbara. Not a single one. Trench. Trench, what happened to you, my buddy? Aw, oh, Trench, buddy. Hey, Julie, welcome. Hello, hello. Do you guys read any SCP stuff? We talked about this, uh, before a little bit. Uh, I have not, but, like, I know of it. Control is pretty SCP. Yeah, so my very little understanding of this game is we, Jesse, are trying to look for our brother Dylan in this place, right, the FBC, that uh, essentially is the SCP. So they have tried to, to control supernatural artifacts, essentially. SCP, I don't remember what it stands for, Cookie. Um, for those who don't know what SCP is, there you go. Secure, contain, protect. Uh, it's like a creepy pasta sort of like um, story. It, I think it started as a creepy pasta story um, about a facility where they kept experiments. It was all these crazy, scary horror monster experiments. And every SCP story was about a different experiment. Um, so it's like weird blob creatures and, you know, fucking Slender Man type things and stuff like that. So. Um, it's like free reign. Anybody can come up with an SCP. And then they've also made games around it as well. Yeah, well, Warehouse 13 meets Slenderman. That's a good, that's a good description. Oh, fuck. No. And that is the end of the game. <laughs> down, please. Down. Down. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Hi for real, Julie! Welcome! I'm very excited to play this game at some point. Oh, well then you should probably leave. <laughs> Goodbye, Julie! <laughs> I'm not excited to play this game anymore at all, ever. What the fuck was that bang? I'm not here for this. I was here for unnerving, I'm not here for horror. I'm not powerful enough for that door. Oh god. Oh, F in chat for me opening this scary door. I have not had to do any shooting, Shit. no. 
Oh, that's shit, what we shit, heard. Shit. Oh, well then Do perfect. Pick it up. The Stick around, Julie. Really? Are we hearing shit? I think we're hearing shit. Oh, fuck your coat, apparently. My bad. Wait a minute. That just gave off sparks? Something's outside. No, oh, was coming here a mistake. Fuck your couch. Fuck your floating shelf, apparently. <laughs> it's just really, really good collision in here. At the weirdest times. Oh, oh man. Oh geez. Oh boy, you really did it, didn't you, buddy? Oh man, all over the office. I don't think that's how the blood splatter would work, but... We need a CSI team in here. Oh, this is Trench! This is the man that... Oh boy, he told Barbara to cancel all his appointments and he was not about... He didn't like the week. He was not having it this week. And now he's here, so... Alright. I'll take that. It's mine now. And there goes the poster. Objects of power can cause uh, or be results AWE. of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one, ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. <laughs> What's your ritual challenge? Ooh, I'm the chosen one! Oh, my favorite trope. Where am I? Okay, so I picked up a gun that uh, whispered sweet nothings into my ear. Uh, that's always a good sign. Now we've been transported to the alien realm, where our mother overlords uh, have chosen me. Bubblegum Polaroid. All none of the above. They're trying to communicate through like radio stuff and it's it's not quite hitting it. Like the house prison you occupy. It's trying to it's it's like it's trying to speak to me. I know it's trying to say something. You need an assistant. I do need an assistant, janitor. You're right. You're correct. Welcome to the brutalist heaven. Oh man. Can I jump? Oh fuck. Ooh, almost whiffed it. How do I? You know what? Uh. Okay. Oh man, we need a double jump. Oh, I don't like that. I have seen the Arrival Error. I love that movie. Melee. Oh, we don't even get to do any shooty. I gotta punch the. Oh! Get fucked. Didn't expect to punch him into oblivion. Uh the same oh. gun. Control the house. This is the house. Okay, so okay. choose to be chosen? I fucking Where choose. Fire. I like the how they call it service weapon. Destroy the copies. Earn what did that say? Earn become what? Regenerates ammunition automatically. Oh, that's my favorite. I hate having to reload. Uh, oh, that's one of the worst things ever. Although I do wonder, my least favorite thing in the world. Oh, that's probably, ooh, that's probably a yes. That one. Um, let's try that. I don't like shooty noises. It aggravates my brain hole. Another reason why I can't play shooters. Although I found recently if I just mute them, it's, it's all good. That's a little bit quieter. I'm afraid if I mute the effects volume, we won't get like other creepy effects. 
Oh boy, they are encroaching. It did say, it did say don't stop moving. I don't think they can touch me up here. I hope. Oops. Neener, neener. <laughs> I liked it when I punched through the dude. Can we just do that? Are these little bits for me to pick up? What are these little blue chunks that flew off these? Ah! Men. Oh boy. Okay. I didn't mean to break your floor, sir. Enemies drop health elements when damaged. Collect them to restore health. Oh, is that what these are? Can I slurp them up? No, it's not working. I don't like shooting noises that aggravate my brain. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Cookie. Now everyone will know. Oh, right. Okay, right to aim. That, yeah, that tracks like most shooters. Okay, cool. I did miss that. Thank you. Um, I guess I collect this. You now wield the gun, you. You we now. The board appoints you. Congratulations, director. I'm the director. You fuck, Trench. I'm the director. Attack. Duty as director. Keep the bureau safe. Did you hear that? It's the dead man. Right after the pyramid spoke to me and it was just noise and I understood every word. And this gun's alive. You know what? I'm happy. I'm happy to be here. Uh, warped perception Things of the world. Quieted down outside. Is it safe to go? Qu Qu quieted down outside? There was nobody there. This building was empty. What do you mean quieted down? Who was out there? I don't like that. It is goblin speak, really, essentially. It really is. You gotta like try to suss out the meaning of the sentence. Ooh, we get a map? Oh my god, yes. Uh, music. Could you not? All right, close. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh no. Okay. All right. What is that? You can't let this happen. It's still too bright. You can't let this happen. You can't let this happen. You can't let this happen. This is real world shit, man. This is some courage, the cowardly dog shit. It's gonna be some metaphorth wall shit about how she knows she's in a game. You stopped it. <laughs> you. Oh, thank you. That was. Horror. Oh! 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 Jesus! Boys! Lord! Take your time. I picked up a weapon mod. And state, oh God, okay. All righty, that's what happens to dead bodies here. Cool. At least I know they won't get back up. Um. Wow, they really fucked this place up. Who has to pay for these repairs? It's not my fault. I did it's not my fault. I didn't do it. Um, question for those who have seen this game. Do I need to be looking for documents in places I've already cleaned? Like, I've already gone through this area, picked up everything there was to pick up. Do I need to, do I need to think that anything has changed and check it over? Does that happen? Is it one of those games? You're right, uh, Tringy. I should, I, I should try meleeing stuff. It is, it is more satisfying to explode things. You are not wrong. Also, I hope I'm saying your name right. Please correct me if I'm not. Okay, you guys are, you guys are, you guys are. <sighs> yeah, you, you guys are liars. 
If it does, you'll be brought there via story again. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Docs are really just flavor text and lore. I feel like I'm not going to get anything out of this game unless I pick up every single piece of paper there is. Also, you guys are full of shit. This place is changing because I know for a fact there was a fucking elevator. There also... This wall of cards was not a thing. I panicked into that elevator. I remember it clearly. You're trying to make me think I'm crazy. Where am I supposed to be going? Executive Affairs? Is that where it wants me? The hotline. Secure line of communication. Guidance. This, this man is in my screen. Reach the hotline. Okay. All right, Trench, I hear you. So, the oh. The hotline, says the dead man. Okay. I am now the director. Oh shit, Jesus. Wow, that really got fucked. That really, wow, I didn't expect that to be so visceral. What do we got? We got a book club. Socks and ballerinas. Acoustic guitar for sale. Looks like it was written by a four-year-old. Turns out it's pretty hard if interested. See Greg in maintenance. Aw, Greg, did you give up on your dream? Buddy. How can there be a map of things change? Garbage. <laughs> Garbage map. You're mentioning that a lot of things are interactable. Almost everything is destructible. I mean, I'm assuming that that adds more flavor to, to firefights, right? When things just straight up explode. Um, okay, we've got delay caused by house shifts do not count towards overtime. Spinning out of control? Yes. That's fucking rude. The house, the house fucks you up and you're still, you're still on the clock and that's, that's not right. If your office building is causing you to lose time, that's on them. <laughs> what does that say? 3D. Or the 3D printer of the bureau stationery. No using the photocopier for personal products or the 3D copier. Speak in moderate vo volume. No personal calls, no food or drink. I hear like a cult droning on. It's very distracting. I'm trying to read the billboards, please. Melee the wall? Okay, I will, but n not before I finish reading this. Uh, wear access badge at all times. No discussing confidential projects out loud. The one to finish the coffee pot makes a new one. Wow, that rule is never followed. Pneumatic tube check. Your first aiders. Oh, we've got like first aid in the building. Say hi and welcome to some new people in the oldest house. Is that what you guys said? Hello and welcome. Hello and welcome to the house. Is that like a thing? Okay, cool. Oh, wait. Reminder to all staff, food left in the refrigerator containment break room 3B has been known to vanish. Plan accordingly. Well. Whoa. Yeah, that's nice. Wait, I don't like that it's like a false facade of wood, but it's actually a concrete fucking brick. That's that's bad foreshadowing. Oh. I don't like this picture of deer. Buh! Wow, it's all just the same picture. No, maybe it's different. They're also clipping through the wall. Can't have that. I'll fix it. You're welcome. All better. Is this how I turn on the emergency system? Nope. That stuff started to move before it even done it. Oh, that's nice. That is satisfying. Uh-oh. Coming from all directions. I don't know how to crouch. Uh oh, that's not great. I'll deal with that later. That dude's head looks weird. Oh wait, what happened? Oh, I died. Oh no. Read the next memo in Valley Grove's. Okay, okay, okay. Well, uh, that's probably going to happen a lot unless we do some of that accessibility stuff. <laughs> Make it real top casual casual mode for Miro. Um, 
interact with control points to instantly refill your health. That's nice to know, except I don't know what a control point is. Wow, shit, all the way back here? Fuck. Okay. I don't think we picked anything up. We just fucked up. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was worth it. Confetti. The hotline. Secure line of communication. I have questions about that. Don't. the dead man. Okay. Get out from behind that desk, please. Okay, I did better that time. Pick up all these little blue bits for my health bar. Wow, they do not do a lot. Ah, Jesus. There's no good cover. Blue bits. Give me all your blue bits. There's some more blue bits. I'm full. Um. This is starting to feel like a Night Vale thing. Like for whatever reason, this is, that's how I sleep at work. Ah, uh, that's what they're doing. Nap time. I feel like this is just like a casual day in the office or something. I really want to try killing one. I just want to see what would happen. Nothing, okay, wow, they get sparkly. Um, are they even really here? I think I broke their chanting. We apparently work on computers out of the straight up fucking 80s. So there's that. Sir, I need my R4 for, for, form, please, sir. Sir, please. Wow, that's a really big fucking sprinkler. Yeah. G. All right, Valley Girl voice it is. The agenda items for the next executive meeting are like as follows. Rising costs of the AWE response. We need to update the mold extraction Evers, because like seriously fucking ew. Like, can we get rid of the mold, please? Upcoming annual salary, re sal salary review uh, for everybody to get a raise because hell yeah. Uh, new supplier for coffee filters to be found and vetted because your girl needs her Joe, okay? Like, I can't just be running to Starbucks every day. Please. Uh, please come prepared, and thanks for your time. I hope that uh, was what you wanted. Oh, ooh, goody, a movie. Objects of power can Terminate her. <laughs> the results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. A side note. Remember to cover their connection to the astral plane as well. Now. Any man who wears gloves that are this long does a job I don't want to know about. Like, you are artificially inseminating a cow or going spelunking in some sewage. Like, I don't want to know you. <laughs> who needs gloves this long? What is he doing? That's all. The service weapon is, of course, what were you doing, Squid? Was it something gross? I bet it was something very gross. Powerful one. That's a, a block. Ingrained in the brick. Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner, and you, <laughs> you're it. Lose, and you're, well, fired. Thank you. I'm Dr. Darling, head of research, Federal Bureau of Control. Okay, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. One more time. Objects of power can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. A side note, remember to cover their connection to the astral plane as well. 
No. That would be important. The service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one. Ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you... <laughs> Okay, so you have to hold the gun to your head and shoot, and if you win, you're director, and if not, you die? Ah, objects of power, OOP, that's what that stands for. That makes a lot of sense. Okay, we've got service weapon. This is the OOP1-KE. Containment procedure, no unique procedures required. Description, periurality? Para, para, para utility. wow, good job, brain. Para utility. Um, the object's form is variable. When bound, the object allows para-utilitarians para to redacted. This object must only be bound by individuals seeking the role of redact director, probably, if I had to fill in the blank. The object will determine whether redacted. If rejected, the applicant is terminated. The process is dictated by the uh, redacted. Though their criteria is unknown. Okay, so essentially what it's saying is this gun is now bound to me and I am now the director, I think. <laughs> Background. Uh, the object was discovered inside the oldest house, which I think from my understanding, the oldest house is the building that we're in right now. Ah, uh, yes, the, the role of assistant janitor, a.k.a. director. Wait, does that mean the janitor is above me? Is he technically still my boss, even though I'm the director? Damn. Oh, error makes so much more sense now. Thanks. <laughs> Appreciate it. Um, so it was discovered inside the oldest house, and the acquisition date was 8-4-1964. What year is it now? Do we ever get to know? Um... The object was discovered inside the oldest house in the room that is now used as the director's office. The polar hypothesis redacted. Many forms throughout its history redacted. Majolner, Excalibur, Varunastra, all weapons that redacted of their wheeler wielders. Okay, Exc Excalibur is like the fucking chosen one. So this gun chose me. I'm the chosen one. Perfect. Love it. Love to see it. Where's my wizard? Uh, if objects of power are the convergence of forces based on the collective subconscious, then this may be the original manifestation of that event. And this, if this is the case, redacted. See Darling presentation 11.1 for more details. Okay, hold on. This sentence is packed. Are the convergence of forces based on the collective subconscious? Oh, that's Thor's hammer. Which What is a uh, Varnastra? Which one is that one? <laughs> Julie, you're okay. You're okay. Have your brain soup. I have brain soup like every day. I get it. I feel it. Is time even relevant? That's a great question. It's probably not. No, Julie, no. No. <laughs> no, old house. In the middle of old house. You just broke my brain for the rest of the night. Oh, you take that back. Now it's in there, like a fucking worm. Iskart, wait, what? When, when did we pick this shit up? Director Trench photograph. So much is expected from the director, the responsibility, the privilege, Zachariah Trench. He looks very distinguished. The Var Nostra is a water weapon, a storm, according to Indian scriptures, incepted by uh, Varuna, god of the hydrosphere. Yo, that sounds dope as hell. No, Julie, no. I'm not welcome. I'm sad. <laughs> you guys turn brains into soup and eat it? Yep. Yes, error. Delicious. Uh, I understood most things late as my on my second playthrough. That's what people keep saying, it's second playthrough. They're like, oh, it makes so much more sense. Uh, okay, field research on his entity. His corrupted security guard, confidential. Summary. The Bureau has many internal security personnel. The Hiss was quick to take advantage of this fact. Hiss guards use the standard issue 
bull pup rifles they carried prior to corruption, while the armored guards carry pump action shotguns. They have no observed paranatural abilities, with the exception of certain hi that certain hiss guards are protected by a shielding dense hiss resonance capable of stopping bullets. Oh, that sounds fucking handy. Uh, is this shielding a result of prolonged hiss corruption? Question mark. Does the hiss mature in organic hosts over time? Not like that. We got parasites. We've got parasitic guards. More data is needed. Did the hiss target individuals with combat training? Does the hiss have a level of cognizance does it utilize hosts for tasks they are best suited to yeah. combat trained hosts are reserved for combat these are all questions for later though it is obvious that the corrupt corrupted individuals retain knowledge on the use of their weapons refer to file redacted for full report interesting i wonder if they are like a fucking hive mind oh yes what is my mission what am i supposed to be doing uh, Jesse Fadden arrives at Oldest House. Okay, so we are at Oldest House. The headquarters of the FBC to look for answers uh, to the mis mysteries of her childhood. Oh, I thought we were here for our brother. Uh, guided by the building director, Ati, Jesse finds Zachariah Trench, the, build the director of the BAU, shot dead. She picks up the pistol next to the body and is translocated to the... Ast oh, we were in the astral plane! Fun! That's what I love to do on a Wednesday. Uh, the strange board encourages her to bind the gun, an object of power called a, the service weapon. She succeeds, and the board informs her that she is now the director. Cool. That really, that really just summed it up nicely. And now we're in a uh, weird corporate hell. Wow, that is a resilient screen. We we fucked up the wall to either side, but it lasted. Wow, wowzers. Is this a magical item? Cause damn. The smooth swap out for janitor? Talking about director? The chanting though. It sounds like they're all just taking fucking business calls. Oh, anything new? Nope, same flyers, same bulletin board. None excite. Oh, I didn't do that. Different bulletin board. Copy, review, Friday. Is this all this dude's board? Nobody else gets a board. Dinner reservations at 7 p.m. at Chez Ombre. Wife will meet you there. Don't be late. Flowers are ready for you at lobby reception. Remember, she is turning 46. What kind of, what kind of company? Hey, Charles, welcome. Redacted. Uh, <laughs> what kind of company sets up your wife's birthday dinner and reminds you? What? Man, I wish. Wouldn't that be nice? Oh, oh, maybe, hold up. Maybe I can get a free snack. Oh! There's no more snacks. Wow, what lasted? Pistachios. Where, where did all the other snacks go? <laughs> oh no, my snacks. You're right. It is a company that takes care of their employees. That is true. I just, I'm trying to make sure I'm not missing any paperwork. Gotta get my paperwork in order. Okay. Oh, another shiny bathroom. So we went in this office. We did not go in this office. Ooh. Reminder. If you experience an unanticipated building shift, follow these simple steps. Huh. One, search the room for any altered items or objects of power. Two, carry the altered item or object of power to the nearest safe room. Three, wait for bureau staff to find you and the object. If there are no altered items or objects of power in the vicinity, then reach your supervisor via the nearest intercom and await further instructions. Thank you for your attention. 
Very instructional. Good to good to have information. Ooh, do a math. Can be taken for reuse. Released articles. <laughs> Little dude on the stairs. I wonder if these are actual dev notes of them trying to build something for the game because that would be hilarious. Oh, I didn't break that window. That was not me. I didn't do it. <sighs> this is the same bathroom. Okay, all right. All right, I see I see where we've ended up. Um, I think I am meant to go. Oh. No. Wow! No! No! I'll go in the shelter, thank you. Thanks, shelter sounds good. Vaporize the chips. Those bags were mostly air, they were. It's always a lie. Those were puffs? Oh, like puff chips? I puffed them right out of existence. What does this do? Oh? Um... I've got undefined reading. I don't know. I don't know what that means. Okay, we don't need to listen to that one again. You doing okay, buddy? Yeah, yep, siesta time. Reminder, redrafting any public facing materials. Oh no, wait, we read this one already. Oh, it didn't start on, that's weird definitely thought it definitely thought it would open to the one I needed to read uh for Marshall's eyes only Marshall we checked out the suspected AWE in Duluth wasn't anything just like the house fire before this and the malfunctioning clothes dryer before that my team is getting pretty sick of duds we need to find a better way to sort out fake AWEs from real things or you need to rotate those field agents off for a bit anyway we're on route to Sherman Ranch, next one on the list. I hope it, it's a little livelier there. Sincerely, Special Agent Keenum. I'd love to hear what happens at the ranch. Shoot the thing that looks like a vacuum cleaner. Ooh. Rocket powered what unit? Oh boy, I might need to be out of the room for this one. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Oh, man. I fucked it up good. That was fun. 10 out of 10. All right. I guess I'm meant to go this way. Rip Henry the Hoover. It is toner. The printer took a shit. The hissing sound that tried to invade me earlier. The hiss burrowing into everything in this place. Is the hiss your enemy? All right, it's our enemy. Okay, so that whatever- contagious. It burrows in like an infuriating melody that makes you hum it over and over. I wouldn't know what that's like, Julie, at all. I wouldn't know anything about a, a melody that drills into your mind so you can never forget it or unhear it, or stop thinking about it. <laughs> uh... <laughs> no error, don't do it! <laughs> um... Okay, so all these people are infected with something called the Hiss. And whatever we got hitching a ride in us, some sort of mind entity that we came in here with, uh, was able to stop it from taking control. F. It's not working. Uh, yep, in the middle of the street. You're right. You did it, Squid. It's the house in the middle of the street. It's a normal house in the middle of the street. Oh, it just plays music. Okay. Oh, it's copyrighted. Rip. Bummer. Well, at least it's not broken. All right, what do we got? How to handle unscheduled visitors entering the lobby. <coughs> Me. <laughs> Make them the director, apparently. 
start with the following. Welcome to the Federal Bureau of Control, established in 1964 as part of an effort to strengthen government relations. We are proud to serve the United States and her people as we strive for transparency and excellence in all aspects of our esteemed nation's infrastructure. Gross. What kind of garbage is that? If they do not leave, then ask them these questions. Are you here to see someone? Are you from New York or just visiting? How did you find this place? Uh, if their answers are sufficiently harmless, explain that this is a secure federal office and they will need to leave. If their answers seem redacted, escort them to a private room. There, perform the gunner psychological assessment. If their responses are within acceptable range of deviance, see the provided scoring sheet, then redact it immediately. Remember, there is no such thing as too suspicious. Oof. Okay, so this place was find founded in 1964. That's the, the year that they found this. So this has, like, been here since the dawn of this company. Was it maybe the first thing they found? It was 001, wasn't it? What do we got? Urban legends. Ooh, exciting. Urban legends are believed to affect the creation of altered materials, but can also dictate the characteristics of an altered world event. Urban legends are understood as the modern evolution of Zhang's... Jung's archetypes. We recognize certain redacted, informed by our own redacted, and popularized by our media. We have additionally proven that urban legends can be artificially redacted in popular culture using redacted. Our bureau made anthology television program. Once the seeds are sown, human imagination exacerbates the details. Certain paranatural phenomenon continue contain clear elements of popularized folklore. Uh, interesting. Okay. AWEs that all occur on uh, redacted. A pair of scissors that consume human redacted through two punctures on the redacted. Oh, there's a lot of things you could put in those blanks. These details, living the minds of so many, have been given strength through belief. Urban legends are not just stories for children. They are paranatural realities waiting to happen. Refer to file 4936942 for full report. Interesting. Hey, Paladin, welcome. Does anyone else substitute the redacted bits with cursing bleeps in their head? Makes for an interesting memo. We recognize certain bleeps. <laughs> The games, uh, the game documents would work well for some ad libs. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, we were playing earlier in my Discord, to which Amp said he fills in the blanks with just the word dicks. So, AWEs that only occur on dicks. A pair of scissors that consume human dicks. <laughs> That's terrible. This is bad. Will the full report actually be full? No, it will not. Hey, Admiral Brocode, welcome! The redacted is a really bad person. He's everywhere on that document. Real bright. Shame on him. Yep, human dicks. Yep, that's what those scissors do. Um, okie dokie. I think we got everything in this room. Let's try for this room. Everybody is just kissing the ceiling. Oh, no way. We did this room, too. Now I got turned around. Okay. I think that's everything in here, then. Let's, uh... Ascend into the pits of hell, apparently. Oh, boy. Oh. Um, do they just want me to vault in there? Oh, I don't think it liked that. Ooh, I don't think it liked that. There's like a grenade situation, eh?
I can't tell if... Cleanse the control point. What does that mean? Help me fix it. I can't tell if the gun has absorbed some of what Trench has said and is using Trench's words to try to tell us what to do, or if they're like using Trench's memories, or I, I don't know what this gun's up to. So we're gonna pound this, this bit of the floor. Hopefully stop the hiss with my magical abilities that I definitely have. Uh, return the floor to a more normal state. Holy Good shit. Good. You did it. We did it. Hello. Hmm. Can you hear me? Are you with us? Hope. Oh. With the Bureau. Hope. Oh. Are you still sane? Hope. Oh. I found it. I can't tell you how happy I am to talk to somebody sane. The feeling's mutual. Yeah, I'm Pope, Emily Pope, I'm Dr. Darling's assistant. My turn. Should I lie? Jesse Faden. I'm just visiting. I should have lied. Oh shit. You're the new director. Hold That's on. me. We're coming out. I'm the queen. Director, Faden, call me Jesse. Okay, Jesse. Oh boy, that I'm smile. Emily. Look, somehow this hostile. Good night, force, Jesse. Thank you for being here. Sleep hiss? well. That works. Somehow the hiss managed to infiltrate the building without any warning. And just like that, my name for it is official. The hiss, like the sound of poison gas leaking in. It wasn't my name. It was on the document. It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone not protected by an HRA. And extraordinarily, you. You are the director, and that makes you special by definition. Trench is no longer the director, obviously. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm talking too much. This whole situation is just. She's gonna be a okay. Lot. Trench is dead. Shot. Ah. Long live I the new queen. Body. And the gun. Do I tell her it looked like a suicide? The service weapon. Also, and this can sound crazy, but he keeps appearing to me, saying things. It's hard to make out, but he told me to cleanse the control point, push the hiss out. The whole room shifted around. You did that? And you entered the building when it was already in the lockdown before you became the new director? That's right, I'm How? gone. <laughs> I'm not ready to tell her about you yet. A janitor let me in. <laughs> I love it. This is fucking unbelievable. It's... I can't even... Ugh, look, Jesse, I have a million questions, and you probably have a million more. Like, do you know my brother Dylan? Not yet. But there's something I need to ask you to do first. If you can cleanse a control point, then you can maybe cure those infected or possessed by the hiss. Because if that's possible, our options are very different. Emily Pope. I don't know her, but I like her already. She's the opposite of the faceless agency I've blamed for what happened to me for so long. But I can't trust her yet. Or rather, the Bureau she's a part of. Yes. I can try. I'm speaking for you, of course. We can try it together. Okay. You with me? We did it before. Push the hiss out. So I'm supposed to do that to all these people? I must cleanse their souls with my mind juju. Oop. Uh, yes, there is a man floating and apparently no one gives a shit, but I'll save him. Um, it's happening to me and I can't even. <laughs> a skill of one to, I can't. Let's see, control points. Control points are locations that the Bureau has identified as being vital junctions of the oldest house. 
When the appropriate har harmonization devices are arranged around a control point in the redacted arrangement, the surrounding area will not experience any unforeseen, unforeseen building shifts. These control points are, dis are discovered by redacted detention and unobscured ping using the redacted within a 37-foot radius. Numerous researchers have attempted to define control points, calling them nerve junctions or redacted or vulnerable points of the oldest house. A common factor in these theories is that control points are susceptible to external influence, which allows us to stabilize the oldest house work more uh, confidently inside it. Theoretically, this technology could be extrapolated to sta stabilize the oldest house as a whole, but testing has found certain parts of the building refuse to be redacted. Refer to 725-2788 for full report. Okay. I don't think I could balance a cup on him, no. But I can lock everybody out! All right, let's go. Let's go work our magic mind powers on this man. Whoosh. We're gonna kill this person. Hey, Jorah, welcome. Oh. It didn't work. The hiss has burrowed too deep. Definitely Ripping killed that person. It out rips them apart. Definitely killed that person. That person is now dead. Where the Jessie, fuck did she here. go? Oh, Jesus. We need to make a plan, Jesse. I can't cleanse them. I saw. It was worth a shot. Thank you, Director. Jesse. Director will do, thank you. Miss Director. I'm gonna tell her why I'm here. I'll risk it. Listen. The Bureau was involved in an incident in my hometown, Ordinary, 17 years ago. The Bureau came in and covered the whole thing up. I've been looking for this place for a long time. That's enough. Maybe that's too much already. I can't tell her about Dylan and the rest yet. I've seen mentions of an altered world event case dealing with Ordinary. You were at Ground Zero as a child? It was one of the big ones, and before my time. And very classified. I can try to dig out some old files for you. My boss, Casper Darling, would know, but he's missing. I think he knew this was coming, or suspected. He came up with the HRAs, the Hedron Resonance Amplifiers. I think they're what saved us, or a few of us. And Director Trench would know. Trench, the ghost, or whatever he is, he mentioned something called the hotline. Said I should find it. It's another object of power, like the gun, an old Bakelite telephone. A direct line of communication between the director and the board. Maybe he can talk to you more clearly through that. I mean, Trench hmm. has years and years of experience. Gotta find the magical telephone. The hiss. Where is the hotline? It's kept in the communications department through the mail room. It's part of this sector, so we can access it even with the lockdown in place. We'll get the door open for you. Okay, that's my next stop. Gotta go That's get magical Tomasi's telephone. Department. He's the head of communications. I don't think he had an HRA. He kind of made a point about not wearing one earlier. Well, rip. Keep an eye out. Man is dead now. They call me the director. But that's not me. I'm not a director type. I'm not a leader. Why am I here? I think you already know. Yes, I came for my brother, but there are other reasons, too. I said I was looking for answers, but I might never understand them. I'm not looking for proof. This is already it. More than enough. No matter what they told me all those years, I know it's real now. I didn't imagine this. I want to be a part of this world. Okay, Ariel. 
what scares me shitless is that I finally found it. Only to see the hiss destroy it all. I would have loved to see this as a functioning bureau. Oh yeah, that, that seems like an easy telephone to reach. Easy peasy. You know, just, uh, like a magneto, apparently. It even looks ominous. Look, I know this is all new to you, so don't hesitate to ask me anything you want to know. There are no stupid questions. The door to the comms department? Oh. The hotline should be in the communications department. Yeah, but I have dumb questions. Tell me about the oldest house. You mentioned the oldest house. What is it? This building, the bureau headquarters, the oldest house, is a shifting place. Uh, you've seen it. It transcends its physical limits. I've this been to New York a few up. times. How didn't I notice this place? It's an attribute of the building. This is a place of power. The it's oldest house doesn't like attention. So unless you're purposely trying to find it, you don't. Which is perfect for us. The work hmm. we do here is essential, but unstable. The Bureau prefers not to be noticed. And we need strong walls to make sure nothing gets out. So without you, I never would have found the front door. Okay. Where did the hiss come from? I'm not sure. You said the hiss was here when you entered. Did you see anything like that outside before you came in? No. No, just inside. The source is internal then. See, the oldest house is a sprawling complex with openings to other places as well. I don't even know where to start looking. But in the context, it's good news. The lockdown holds. The hiss escaping the building would be the end. Pretty shitty world out there if you ask me, but I wouldn't want the hiss to destroy it. I'm with you on that, Emily. Um, I'm also loving this drawer. Fun fact, the building actually exists. Ho ho. Going to learn brain farts and fly to the phone? Oh, is that how brain farts work? Like a propeller. Not sure how functioning the Bureau actually was before this. It gives me the vibes of Aperture Science from Portal. Right, doesn't it? Like, like they, they've been trying, but they're not doing a great job. Um, okay, tell me about Trench. This Trench guy. I keep hearing this him trench in my guy. head. Is he a ghost? Haunting me? I doubt we're talking about a ghost in the traditional sense, but an echo may be. See, if he was killed by the service weapon, your gun, maybe it's his final thoughts recorded by the bullet in his brain, like a, a deep space probe sending back data. But that's just a hypothesis on my part. Like I need way the to gun to research it. it. <laughs> but you better hold on to that given the circumstances. I think I will. Yeah. Um. Can you tell me what an object of power is exactly? This is all, well, new to me. <laughs> Don't worry, I love going over the basics. So objects of power are mundane aggressive? objects that house paranatural energies and have developed a link to the astral plane and can thus be controlled, which is what differentiates them from altered items, which are still housings of paranatural forces, but are more volatile and cannot be bound in the peri-utilitarian sense. Got it? Did she memorize this? Or what? Did she just say Got haunted it. objects? I'm pretty Thanks. sure she just said haunted objects. She just said they can link to the astral plane to be controlled, AKA haunted objects. If we're assuming astral planes is where ghosts are. Haunted. Haunted objects. So HRA stop you from becoming hiss. Well, it seems that way. I mean, I hadn't even heard of an HRA until a few weeks ago when Dr. Darling started handing them out. Well, I began analyzing mine as soon as I got it. I mean, each one seems to emit a powerful short-range frequency way beyond anything I've ever seen. Doesn't the timing seem suspicious? A little bit. I thought that too. Dr. Darling usually likes to unveil his latest breakthrough in big presentations. With these, he just passed them out. 
Yeah, his behavior makes me wonder what exactly he knew. Interesting. Okay, cool. Thanks, Emily. I feel like I'm sure um, I'll have questions soon. Just let me know. I feel like to work here, you have to have a very inquisitive mind. Door made a scary noise, so we're going over here. Are these like chess? I don't know. I don't know what these are. I've got house memory, house trend, and undefined reading. Um, got a new mission. Emily instructs Jesse to find the hotline, an object of power in the form of an old telephone, to understand the messages from the dead director trying to communicate with her. Uh, they hope he can provide insight into the Hiss invasion. The only person you should fail is yourself. Zachariah Trench. Man, what a motto, my dude. Alright. Hiss agent. His corrupted agent. The Hiss manifest in human hosts in numerous ways. The most common and least intense form is seen in the many corrupted agents floating through the Bureau. The Hiss agents have maintained their human appearance, undergoing no obvious physical transformation. The most notable distinction uh, from the unaffected human is the way that they levitate. The Hiss have displayed no aggressive behavior. They only seem interested in vocalizing the strange incantation ad infinitum. Perhaps these vessels are only meant to propagate the Hiss corruption, the spores or like spores or Wi-Fi boosters, or are they cocoons preparing to enter the next stage of evolution? When attacked, Hiss agents disappear, perhaps entering a state of invisibility or undergoing a transformation into a purely resonant form. Research is ongoing. Refer to Redacted for full report. Loadout tab. What's a loadout tab? What do you mean by loadout tab? Oh, this tab. Oh, this tab. Uh. Hmm. Did I just equip? Ooh, energy gain from headshots. All right. Wow, uh, yeah, had not been checking that, so. Hot tip. Hot tip! And then it turns out your patient in a mental hospital and this is all in your head. It could go that way. It could also just be aliens. You know? You never know. Okay, cool. We had a chat with her. We went through our documents. We're gonna go through the magical door. Alright, we gotta find ourselves a fancy phone. Uh, which is in the communications department which is not on our map in the least. It would appear that the only way through is maybe back through the director's office. Well, our little spirit guide is working on it. Never mind. Dead letters. Nostalgia department. Oh man. Or really good acid. It could also be drugs. It could be drugs. You're not wrong. Shatter projectile choke. I don't know what that means. Another power up for our little gun. Just real quick, I want to make sure we aren't missing anything in this lobby. No, I am the I'm the director. You let me in. Feel free to close that. Don't let me in that one. Oh man, it's a haunted jukebox. It's a haunted jukebox. I'm gonna go find my haunted telephone. Uh, that's the boardroom. Uh, that's the elevator. Oh shit. Was it this door? It was this door. Dead letters. Dead letters. Dead letters. There it is again. Our welcome message. Let's well, not. Clarence? I am the director. <laughs> they respect. They do not respect authority. Either that or everybody's really the director. Oh. Hmm. 
I swear to God, if that dude gets up. Oops. I don't want to listen to that shit. <laughs> This is a normal office. Yep, totally normal. Oh, oh, Jesus. Ow, he did me a hurt. Let's take a reading break because that sound is horrendous. Look at the map. There's a section with a yellow diamond, one of the question marks. Oh, is that where I'm supposed to be headed? Uh, week 83 report summary. Visited the following Nevada accommodations. Desert Suns Inn, Big Sky Motel, Starlight Motel, in and in and out. <laughs> in and out. Aztec Court, Sleep E, Bear Motel. Oh, Sleepy Bear. <laughs> Uh, Silver Spurs Ranch, Elgato Blanco Inn, A Plus Lodge. Accommodation, $831.29. Meals, $714.84. Gasoline, $295. Mini bar, wow, dude. You racked up $300 at the mini bar? Is that allowed? I do wonder if a motel called the Ocean View is going to be found in a landlocked state. But hey, I guess I'm not paid to think that, right? And for the record, I again request that you give us a budget to get two rooms each night agent rally and myself are very tired of sleeping in the same room to you on the road agent l hines uh where does this asterisk belong oh the mini bar the boys in researching said performing rituals might help identify any places of power drinking those little whiskeys is my ritual mm, that's yeah mm -hmm, yeah sure sure hines got other more of these infernal. Quiet that racket. Oh man, everybody's dead. Even the people with the thingies are dead. Oh, they're there. Ah, sweet quiet. Just kicked a dead man, that was my bad. Oh, it's coming back. It's coming back. Uh oh. Are these guys his too? I thought they said that it wasn't it wasn't showing malicious behavior. Yes, it's overpowering here. You don't want me anywhere near it. I'm with you on that. Hey fat knuckle, welcome. How's it going? Oh Jesus. Oh, they're up here now. I need all of their little juice goblets. Their little juicy beans. I need their jelly beans. That's what we're gonna call them, the jelly beans. I need their jelly beans. They did me a hurt. Now I require jellies. I guess it must be coming out of the people. Stop it. Man, they fucked up the whole cafeteria. Huh. More, more chips that were just air. Such a shame. Did I just hear something growling? I shouldn't let people out if they're in there. Oh, that noise. Oh my God, I feel like it's actually getting into my soul. Hey, Pino, welcome. Hello, hello. I just started this game. I think I finished 50% of it. Are you liking it so far? No spoilers, but are you liking it? Never saw the end of Tangled Tower. Oh, the bud's still there, Fat Knuckle. Um, 
I won't spoil the ending for you. Go watch. It's good. It's a good time. I got your redacted clearance right here, pal. Yes, please. Plot confused me. I am still confused. I feel that. I feel that. I understand. I don't think you're ready for this jelly. I am ready. I'm always ready. Who was murder? Who was... Spoil it. Um... The murderer was the bird chick. I can't remember her name. Penelope? Um... It was Penelope and... The... She was also the other detective. She was also, like, the... I don't remember her name, but the one that had been hired there to find the egg. She was also that person. It was like a double, a double duty. I am not paying attention to the collection, never read those files. That be, that might be, that might be why you're confused, Pino. That might not have helped. <laughs> you blamed everyone. I knew it. You, you, if you just guess everyone, I mean, then you're not wrong. Um, okay, so this is in 2017, this event. This was the AWE 48 Havana. An auditory event occurred at the United States Embassy in Havana, injuring the majority of diplomatic staff stationed there. Redacted deaths were reported and the outgoing information has been managed. Bureau agents arrived at the embassy on the same day as the event was reported through federal channels, but were too late to witness the AWE, which is reported to have been redacted. Staff experienced sudden intense vibrations and noise accompanied by an intense pressure in the ears. This lasted for redacted minutes. No visual phenomenon was witnessed. The scene was cordoned off and the embassy staff were transported to the continental U.S. After Formula I.9 was recited in the vicinity, a single cowboy boot began to vibrate, identifying it as an altered item. The item was contained and brought to the Bureau for examination. See case file AI-85 for detail. Man, that cowboy boot. It'll get you every time. Cuban cowboy boot. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, uh. Hold up, there was another one in here. Hiss barrier. The Hiss resonance field is a, a physical impediment that is difficult to define. Hiss barriers appear as ways to impede, es impede escape or access by bureau personnel. Two methods have been discovered for lowering them. One, destroy the multiple concentrated resonance sources found in the vicinity. Two, destroy the Hiss entities in the area. The Hiss resonance, the, sorry, the resonance fields seem to require support for their size and density from other non-connected sources of Hiss resonance. Without the ability to draw from the, these sources, the barrier will fall. Does an inactive structure made of Hiss resonance qualify for a conscious being? Does the distinction make any difference when considering the hiss? Why does the very act of building walls to prevent our movement tell us about the hiss? What does? Uh, to the degree, to what degree is it watching and planning? Refer to file redacted for full report. Oof. Let's open this just so I can go in and maybe get some fucking peace and quiet. Nope, it's way worse. <laughs> I want what's in there. Oh, wait, I want what's in there. Alright, hold on. Sorry for the spoiler, but Redacted takes a giant Redacted to get rid of the Redacted and the Redacted. Aw, Fat Knuckle, you ruined it! How could you? Oh. No, it, it does you in immediately. That was not... Okay. Because the Redacted is annoying? I can see that. I can understand, Pino. It's not for everybody. <laughs> There's a snake in my boot. All right, well, our death count's up to two. So that's, you know, average for a mirror stream in any game that you can actually die in. Wow, well, I don't want to die anymore, though, because this loading screen, while pretty, is also unnerving. Aw, oh, man. Really? I picked up so many redacted pieces of information. Uh, there it is again. A welcome message. Yeah, I can't get in there. Okay, let's see if Mira can remember exactly where all those documents were. Um, there's one on the corner over here. Oh, they stay picked up. Oh, bless. Okay. 
Love to see it. Did I hit that one? I don't know if this is actually helping, but it quiets the noise a little bit when I do it, so I'm gonna go with yes. Nope, nope, that hurts. Overpowering nope. here. You don't want me anywhere near it. I'm with you on that. Okay, we don't go down that hallway. Let's trigger these bad boys. No? They stay dead too? Uh what a great game. Okay, I'm gonna try to run in that room again. <laughs> oh, I almost had it. <laughs> I hated the checkpoints in this game. Were they like too far away for you? I feel like it was set very far back in the level, but at the same time, I kept my documents and the enemies didn't respond, so like I'm totally okay with it. It seems kind of weird to not have me just respond where I was then. And there doesn't seem to be much of a consequence to death, but. You made a decent margarita. Man, margaritas are not my favorite. Anything tequila really is not, not my cup of tea. That is not the door we want. Dead letters door, dead letters door, this one. Where's the gun go when I'm not holding it? There it is again. A welcome no, I'm pretty sure. message. Pretty positive. <laughs> pretty positive shooting those things helps. Where the fuck was that door? There we go. I think it's just on the floor still. It's not here. Damn it. I hope I didn't lose it. Uh, I think I fudged it. I think I fudged it. I feel like I'm pl uh, I played a different game now. My enemies respond. Was I playing on hard mode or something? Uh, I didn't get the option for difficulty. This is like the, what is it called? The ultimate edition? I don't know if that matters. Maybe it knows I'm a big fucking pansy. Used aim assistant immunity? I might have to, maybe, we'll see. God, I cannot. They sound horrid. It's a cacophony in my eardrums. Ultimate difficulty. I'm really sad that I lost that item. I tried so hard. Oh, there's the other ones. Ugh, I'm just ultimate sad about that. But it was something good too. Let me just cover all my bases here. Oh, silence. It's still coming from somewhere. I mean, the people's mouths, obviously, but I feel like it's got, there's another, another speaker involved. Oh, it's right there. Please shush. No one wants to hear your drivel. Okay, I can't open that. Can't open that. Where am I meant to be? Ah. Uh, communications department, yes. Oh, dead letters. We're in dead letters. First sponsor scripted, after that it's random. Ah, oh, okay. Well, there you go. There's your answer. There needs to be a lost and found where I can go and get that thing that I didn't pick up because I'm, I'm like, oof, I'm miffed. I had a dream and I built the thing I saw in my dream, a machine that will contain God, but not the God you know or the ones anyone knows, a new God. This machine will be his body, his heart and his mind. I made it just like the dream showed me. This is some straight up Cthulhu shit, come on. 
I used the motor from the refrigerator and the coils from the toaster and the fans plus the timing belt from my car's engine and the wheels from my son's skateboard. Picturing that is a pile of garbage. God can't move yet, but the dream said he would learn how on his own. This is just a beginner's body, like a baby's, but a machine instead. God only needs a place to start. If you want to interview me, please contact me at the address on the envelope. My phone does not work anymore. I had to use the dialing plate on God. Oh boy. <clears throat> Can you imagine having a dream and then building an entire robot out of all of your household appliances simply because you were told? Oh, I fucked something up there. I couldn't even see what it was. It's so dark in here. Can I kill them? Shut up! Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Damn it. There was no way. I was so low on health to begin with. Boo. Hey, what do I use my little um triangle bits on? I've got some triangle bits. They respawn over time, not at death like Dark Souls. Cool. I love that I'm so uh beaten <laughs> by video games like Dark Souls that I just expect more enemies every time I die. I feel like that's just the way things are anymore. Oh my lord, are you shitting me? I made it to a whole new area. Wowzers, okay. There it is again, our welcome message. I don't know what you're talking about, I don't hear shit. All right, so if they're time-based, if we skedaddle, we should. Um, was it this? Yeah, dead letters. Dead letters. Did you just say we stand around you while you dream? Ooh, secrets, secrets, secrets. Ooh, health recovery mod, I need that shit. Uh, let's just, uh... I already have a health recovery mod? What's this one? Oh, that's that. Uh, choke projectile. I don't know what that means. Um, guys, I have another. I have another file. Another dead letter. Mr. Governor. Wow, that is far from how you spell that. I think that's not how you spell governor. Yes. You only load in at control points. Oh, it's the control point. All right. All right. Fine. Fine. They made it kind of part of the plot. I'll leave it. Um, I called the police, but they never came to my house. I got a problem and you got to send folk to fix it. It's one of these. Gov governor. Gov governor. Mr. Governor. That's what that says. That's not governor. It's governor. <laughs> I got my wife, one of them singing fishes on the wall. It's not a real fish. It sings when you hit a button, but it's got the devil in it. It flies around at night and sings devil songs. Says lots of cuss words. The devil got in my house because of that fish and you gotta come handle it. My wife is real upset. When can you come? <laughs> Sincerely, Dwayne Barr. <laughs> we are talking in her natural accent. God, no. <laughs> if that was my natural accent, I would do a much better job at pronouncing things southernly. I think of anything, it's a butcher. Anything? Nothing? No? Oh, it's in here. Thought I saw something. Ooh, dead letter approval. 
Greetings, Director Trench. I'd like to thank you for approving my request for the Dead Letters Archive. Cataloging the Bureau's collection of delinquent mail will provide an extremely handy database that research teams can use to search for any connections or related topics found among the letters. Aside from the more functional purposes, the archive will allow us to preserve these windows into authentic human encounters with the paranatural world. The letters come to us from various places and times gathered by the Postal Service as undeliverable. The Bureau is the perfect home for them. I realize not all letters contain accounts of genuine paranatural events, but even the erroneous ones allow us insight into how the unknown is perceived by real people. Of course, I will first compile a system to allow us to analyze the letters for any information or sus suspected connections to AWEs and other altered materials. So thank you again. Can't wait to delve into my dead letters, P. Bartwell. Man loves his job. God, can I have some lights, please? Any form of lighting. Oh man, now I did it. Now I did it. No, oh, where'd he go? Alrighty. Gotta keep zigzagging, that's what I was taught. How do I take down this man's shield? All right. Maybe I could try meleeing it? Oh Jesus, where were you hiding, buddy? Sweet, sweet boy. Who just had a shotgun? It's not doing it. Let's see. Viscerate the man. Oh. Nuggets, where are you? <laughs> oh god, I'm losing my fucking vision. Run, Jesse! Lord help me. Okay, if we... We do anything to this? No. Just look at it. Eight inches wide and capable of storing a whopping 80 kilobytes. Not really what I should be doing right now. Where'd he go? Oh shit. Ah shit! If I go back to the control point, what happens? It said something about immediately regain health. So I'm gonna bitch out all the way back home. Will he follow me, you think? I don't think he will. The battle music is. The battle music is definitely following me. Battle music is slowly giving up. Who will win Miro over the man with the shoddy B Bugatti? The shoddy Bugatti. Every time. Do I feel better? <gasps> Outfits! Aw, I don't have any. Okay. See, now look, I feel all better. Now let's go see if the shoddy man is still there. Um, I bet his... 
Oh shit. I bet his compadres are not there anymore, hopefully. Apparently this always responds these fucking speakers. Really love it. Love to see it. Apparently one shot now takes out both speakers for me, so. I've upgraded somehow. Oh. Oh lord, he did follow me. Oh god. Oh fuck. He did do it. He did it. He did do it. Are you shitting me? Sir. Excuse me, sir. I don't think I can even get close enough to him to melee him. He's being a little shit. He's being a little stinker. Wow, he is fucked on that pillar, isn't he? All right, melee worked really well. Uh, Tringy, top tip. I just needed more health because er, I was really hurting for it earlier. Cool, cool, cool. All right, shoddy man is gone. We did a bit of cheese, but that's okay. Oh man, what happens if I? Oh, barely anything. Anticlimactic. Can't climb the ladder. Oh, yes, I can. Oh, popped right off. Um, our robot entity, robot entity, our brain implant, our ghost, our passenger. What do you want to, what, what do we call this thing? It wants us up here. Ah, Drilly, I see what you did there. Force punch them in the face, apparently. Oh, look, I fixed it. You're welcome. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, let's go back and uh, watch that videotape we glossed over here. Okay, cool. I think it should still be in multimedia. Just look at it. Eight inches wide and capable of storing a whopping That's big. 80 kilobytes. <laughs> Stolen by our friends at the CIA, the disc held the launch codes to Soviet nukes. That's a big ass floppy disk. Uh, this is not the disk, of course, but one exactly like it. A perfect fusion of concepts vibrating in the Cold War era collective unconscious. A receptacle. It is a receptacle for dangerous energies to hone in on. And they did. We don't have the details, but when things started flying around the disk, it was transferred to us. It's an object of power. Flying around? OOP. Oops. Uh, and ah. it can launch things telekinetically through the air. Uh, to date, we, we've launched maybe oh, three dozen you pencils. It. You did it. Pencils? Good job, buddy. And once, we even launched a cup. Oh. Wow. Look at him go. Those are floppy disks? OG floppy disks? Man, I'm not... Apparently, I'm not that old. That's... Wow, I haven't come across something that made me feel young in a long time. Floppy disks for me were like yay big and i never actually used them i just saw my mom had them so okay but was there anything else no i think we okay we're good on everything there were two kinds what squid said that's why they were called floppy disks those are floppy oh like they got it 3.5 floppies are the modern ones. Okay, so that must be what I have experience with then. Or 1.4. 3.5 would... Uh, whatever. <laughs> oh, those are 8 inch? I have a ruler. Handy. Um, okay, this is where we're going to call it for today. I don't... Ooh, photo mode. Ooh, that's kind of fun. Uh, I don't know... I don't know how to save this game. I'm assuming it just auto saves. Uh, I'm assuming since we did this point, it's like the perfect time. Excuse me while I go old myself now. I remember eight inch floppies, the smaller ones are 3.5 and you have the hard plastic ones. Yes. 
they were always hard plastic for me so yeah um okay i think that i can probably handle this game okay so we will continue this on thursday um yes 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 that sounds good uh thursday 7 p.m mst is my next stream uh i hope to see you guys there let's do our thank yous and our goodbyes see if there's anybody to raid um let's check real quick doubtful but let's see The original ones were floppy plastic. Okay, then I've never actually touched a real floppy disk. <laughs> wow, that's uh, that's sad. I want to have the claim to fame of touch, touching a floppy one. Where can I find a floppy one? Do I have to go to an antique store for that? Come on, Spotify. Do your thing. Do the thing. There it goes. Uh, so thank you so much to Squid for the raid. Thank you, thank you for that raid, Squid. I really appreciate it. Thank you for bringing me your cool fish. Guys, again, if you are in my channel and you have not checked out Squid Janeer, please go check out his aquarium and his cool fish. It's one of the chillest places to be. Um, That's it for today, guys. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your night. I'll see you on Thursday for more Control, 7 p.m. MST. Um, I hope you have a good rest of your week. Uh, it looks like on the raid side of things, we're lacking, so. I'm just going to send you off into the ether and I hope you have a wonderful night. Bye guys.